hey Sagittarius, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day thus far. All right, guys, going to get you a reading really quick. This will be a general collective reading as always. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, guys. Oh, lineal truth. Okay. Go ahead. Let me pull this out because probably get a little hot with that candle behind it. All right, what else? Spirit. Lineal truth. Conceal. Hmm. Interesting. So we have somebody concealing the truth, maybe. Okay, I'm finding this bit interesting here because lineal truth is about, this is something that's ancestral. So there's some kind of hurt, some kind of pain, some kind of truth regarding this that's been passed down that someone may be dealing with at this particular time. And lineal truth is about, it's about addressing it. I'm sure you've probably seen things that say, you know, um, the ancestral curse stops here or something like that. Like somebody here, and this may be you, Sag, I don't know yet because I'm just getting into it. You may be the one that's kind of stopping all of the ancestral trauma and the ancestral patterns that were not good, right, from being passed down here. It's interesting here that this says concealed, because when I look at lineal truth, this is something that a lot of times people will just put a band-aid on, right? Like, well, I don't really want to deal with it. I'm just going to set it down for a minute. But with the conceal, we literally see two band-aids crossing it. So I do think that this has been concealed for a long time. Somebody here may be looking into their ancestry. They could be looking into why something is the way it is, why it runs so deep, especially if you can't equate it to say some kind of memory or trauma that may have happened in your own life. I really feel like there's something here that you or, or whoever this is going to be about <clears throat> um, is, I don't know, I guess you're here to kind of break the pattern is what I'm getting here. Whatever it is, it has to be recognized because that's the only way to heal it. So. You know, the thing was concealed too. It can show me that someone may be a bit ashamed about it or, and there's nothing to be ashamed about. Okay. You can't, you're not responsible for what everybody did before you. So, um, it's, you know, it's just a matter of taking care of it, addressing it, making sure that it's healed so that it's not creating problems in your life. And it allows anyone else that maybe has been impacted by it to heal as well. All right, let's keep going. This is overall energy spirit. <clears throat> The Empress. Okay, yeah. Because somebody is going into some kind of new start here. Something new is being birthed into being. That's why this is being addressed here. It looks to me like somebody, look at this. We had the devil on the bottom. Whatever this is, it could have been, ke ke hello, keeping someone feeling as though they were stuck. Okay, so I see all of this goodness, these stars on the outside here, but I really can't reach that, right? But you can, and that's what the Empress card here is about, okay? You're getting the resources here to be able to, uh, and the awareness, right, to take care of these things so that you can actually get out of anything that may have been keeping you stuck in the past and pushing forward, okay? it could With the Devil card being on the bottom there, let's be honest, it could have been something that was very destructive um, in your life or in your bloodline. Okay, so you don't need to know all the details. You just have to be aware of it, recognize it, and begin to kind of release that and make sure you're not pushing uh, that forward, okay? Let's see what else we have here. <clears throat> Four Sagittarius here. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Ducks in a row. Yeah, something's about to happen for you guys here. This is spirit telling you to get your ducks in a row. <laughs> get your ducks in a row, okay? Unlocking your mind. I'm telling you, somebody is looking into this is what I'm feeling here, all right? It looks like somebody here is having their mind unlocked so that they're able to really kind of explore that. You may be, uh, yeah, you could be just out there doing that yourself, right? You're the one that's looking into this. You feel that push to actually look into into yourself, again, into what makes you tick, into maybe even your past heritage, lineage, all of that stuff to make sure that you're kind of clearing out any of those patterns that that are not healthy. I do believe here that you're getting a lot of assistance here, but something about needing to be a little more structured or to get your ducks in a row <clears throat> because something is about to happen here, all right? 
Make sure that you're spending some time as well sitting perhaps in meditation if you're not already. There's some kind of key up here as well that's unlocking something. I think that you're getting... So you're going to be gaining a lot more wisdom, not only about this, but about something else that you're doing here with the Empress energy that's definitely birthing something new, something creative, perhaps, into being. Hmm. And maybe something that actually puts you in front of other people here with this fishbowl card. And maybe this is kind of telling you that you need to kind of be prepared for that. So I don't know what it is, but it looks like you're going to want to be a little more prepared for whatever it is. Let's see what this is about, Spirit. For Sagittarius, please. Abundance. Whatever it is, it looks like it's going to bring you abundance. This card says, Lucky times are ahead of you along with good news, success, and prosperity. Hmm. Okay, and I have Chariot on the bottom, which says, Charge ahead with confidence, stay strong, and focus. So yeah, maybe you guys have some new endeavors. Maybe you're going... Starting something new, going in a different direction. Something is definitely very creative around all of this. And it does involve some healing as well. It's almost like as you begin to heal these things, you're opening yourself up to a whole world of possibilities here. All right, let me see. Spirit, just give me Sagittarius's energy. What does Sag need to know today, please? <clears throat> Sagittarius, Sun, Rising, and Venus. Okay, yeah. So you could, this is interesting because this is a card about beliefs too. And they could have been actually self-limited or self-limiting beliefs. This is why it's telling you to get your ducks in a row. Because somebody's been doing their work, but they haven't exactly been moving forward is what I'm getting here. But they've definitely been doing their work here. But I feel like now spirit is actually pushing you forward. All right. Uh, all right, what else? Look at that. You can't make it up. Something's going to look at that. Some kind of creation here of yours. Something has come into life here. All right. I can see that there's some, you know, abundance that's coming your way. This is obviously a divine feminine energy. There could actually be some kind of pregnancy here. But this is someone who's very, it just shows me that you're moving forward to something that's highly creative, okay, that you're bringing into being here. So this could be the creation of life, of course, but it could be of anything. It could be a creative venture. It could be of an idea. Uh, you're moving into a much more prosperous time, I feel like, for yourself. Okay. Yeah, because you've had, look at this, you've had some kind of breakthrough. Notice where that's fallen on Unlock the Mind. Okay, you've had some kind of breakthrough here. You may notice that you have opened your vision quite a bit here or you have some kind of new insights, all right? A lot of mental clarity, again, potentially about why things have been the way that they've been, all right? Why you have operated the way that you have. This could also be around other people around you, but I feel like this has something to do with your own ancestry, honestly. I feel like you're breaking a lot of patterns here. It's almost like the buck stops with you. So I might be talking to somebody who's very spiritual, definitely doing their work here, their healing work. Yeah, look at this. All of this clarity, you've stepped into a place of strength, of, of self-love, of respect here. <laughs> this is beautiful. All right. So we have the seven of wands here as well. You may find that you are um, very protective of yourself as well, protecting your territory, really having to stand your ground with something here. I don't know what that would actually be. That could actually be with your family, to be honest with you. Um, there's a lot of perseverance. So this is a very strong card for me. You may, you could also be a bit, gra uh, not grounded, but guarded, honestly, as well, which is fine. So something that you're doing, I feel like you're going to be receiving from people as well as giving to people. So I don't know what you're doing here. I don't know if you're doing something that has to, I don't know, something charitable perhaps, but it definitely doesn't have to be. Whatever you're doing, I feel like you're helping other people. But I also feel like you're going to have a community of people that's around you, um, assisting you or helping you or even looking up to you in a bit. They're going to, something about the energy of it all, there's some kind of exchange of energy. So you are going to be getting back. That is definitely a card of 
um, not only giving, but also getting, okay? So I do think there's going to be some equal reciprocity. What is this about, Spirit? What is this about for Sagittarius, please? Yeah, some kind of passionate new start. Whatever you've been through, whatever you have figured out here, it's almost like, you know, Spirit's saying, just get your ducks in a row. Maybe write down some plans or write down, you know, pen to paper, right? Uh, put your pen to paper, paper, start getting some things in order here because I think you're about to start moving forward. And you're going to find this is going to be a very abundant time for you. Now, there could be some clashes around you as well, maybe due to this. Maybe, I don't know if you're having to break away from something to get to this, but you may find either whatever you're doing may have some kind of competition, or this could definitely tell me that there's some kind of tension around it as well. You might have some rivals in a sense. You may already see that. <clears throat> wow. Okay. I don't know if this has something to do with some kind of deep soul connection as well. I'm asking who or what is around you. Yeah, you may, you actually may be attracting something in here. This may already be someone who has their eye on you as well, Saj. Not, I'm not sure why I'm getting this here. Someone who could very well feel romantic about you, but maybe they know that there's a lot of competition for you that's looking for some kind of new start here. Yeah, this is a person here that is really unhappy. It looks like with their situation here, they really have a lack of fulfillment here. Yeah, they're not liking whatever is happening with you. Whatever changes you're making here, whatever you have figured out about yourself, about your ancestry, um, whatever you've been through spiritually, which you clear, it clearly looks to me like you've went through some up leveling for sure, some ascension with that. I don't, maybe they don't like the community here. Maybe they don't like what you're getting, that a lot of people are giving you attention perhaps or giving back to you or I don't know if you're on a bit of a pedestal here, but I do feel like there's some, there's a lot of equal give and take here. It could just be as simple as you having new friends around, right? But I think it might be bigger than that. Yeah. Something about your new awareness here. Absolutely. And the thing about it is, is whoever this person is too, sees that you've liberated yourself from something here. Okay. And they have a lot of fears about that because there is love here. I don't know if, I don't know what happened. I don't know if they didn't pursue you. I don't know if maybe you, maybe you shot them down in some way. There's something here. I feel like they feel as though you've escaped or whatever this was. So if you were in a relationship with them, maybe you just let it go. There's something here about that. They feel like you've surrendered this connection. Okay. And, and it seems to me like you're really focused on you at this time and whatever it is that you're doing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, honestly, this per I don't know who you're dealing with here. I have a Knight of Swords here. I mean, this person may want to kind of rush towards you. That's a very fast card here. They could be feeling very impatient, okay? Um, mm. Yeah, I don't know if this is an aggressive person. They definitely don't have to be, but this is somebody who wants to move towards you, I feel like, pretty quick. Who is this Nine of Swords, or who is this in this Nine of Swords energy spirit? I think you've gotten away from somebody and honestly, it looks to me like you've been so focused on yourself, your own healing, even looking into something much deeper than that, that may far supersede even your healing, going back into kind of ancestral type stuff. Um, you could have already obtained a lot of abundance or maybe someone knows that you're doing that. The bottom line is you're not giving somebody any attention here and they know it. Okay, turn around. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is somebody here that wants to make some kind of peace with you. You've definitely had some kind of trouble with this person before. They're trying to make amends here. This could be somebody from the past that wants to have some kind of reconciliation with you because they're holding a lot of regret um, and remorse about something that's happened here. You know, the Five of Swords uh, upright is definitely a lot of conflict. So you could have had a lot of conflict with this particular person here. For some reason, they feel like they're, I don't know, you might have had this person as your number one before because for some reason, they feel like they have a lot of competition around them now and they're not really liking that, whether that's true or perceived. Because on another note, I feel like you're solely focused on yourself. I don't even really see you 
looking outward quite a bit because I think you feel like you're on, I don't know if you're on some kind of mission or you're just healing. And sometimes when we're healing, we become like hermit, you know, like the hermit, right? We're not really looking outward a lot or focusing on other people. We're just trying to get ourselves um, together and heal ourselves. You know, we don't want to keep going through that over and over through life. So, all right, what's coming up here for Sagittarius and Spirit? Actually, let me get some more information. What was the issues here? Do we even want to look? Actually, no, I'm going to go back. <laughs> I don't feel like I want to open those doors unless I get more cards. What's coming up for Sagittarius Spirit? What's next? So you definitely could have somebody that's returning to your life that feels very left out about your new endeavors, whatever they are here. They may know that you have a lot of good things coming up. They could see a lot of people that are around you. Look at that. Wow. At the Ace of Pentacles here. This is beautiful. Um, I don't think that they like it. I can clearly see that they feel very much so uh, left out and like they're not fulfilled about the situation. They don't like it that they feel like suddenly they're not number one, that they're you know placed into whatever this is, some kind of, um, I feel like they feel like they're in some kind of competition for your attention with other people. This person could show up out of nowhere or call you, text you, message you, what have you out of nowhere. Okay. It could seem quite abrupt, quite honestly. But they want, it's because they want to reconcile whatever this was, whether it was a friendship. There's the lover's card here. So it could definitely be romantic, you know, romantic. Uh, so it could be a relationship or friendship, what have you. Yeah. Okay. So I'm asking, so what's coming up? You're about to get some kind of new offer. You could be getting a new job or promotion. You could be uh, having someone move towards you that maybe wants to invest in you or what you're doing. Okay. This could also just be telling me. Um, you could be investing in something as well here. Wow, look at this. We have the sun, ace of pentacles, and the sun. Sag, look at this. So much happiness and joy, success, vitality coming your way. You might be feeling extra optimistic here and confident as well. Yeah, this is you and that hermit energy. This is <laughs> this is coming. It looks to me after a time of really being stuck here or feeling like you've been really stuck. Um, you may have withdrawn. We literally just talked about that for a while here. Yeah, following. So this could, I don't know if this is somebody in your family, but this could have definitely been following some kind of family trouble here or some kind of separation from someone. What else, Spirit? What is coming up for Sagittarius? Okay. All right. You may have someone that is moving towards you here. This could show me just you being very committed and grounded to what you're doing, but I kind of feel like you may have someone that could be moving towards you as well that's very practical and reliable. Um, someone who's hardworking here, very grounded individual as well. They could be, I like it that they're reliable even. This is a pentacle card, right? So it could be that they're stable as well financially. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if that is who's wanting to invest in you. This could be somebody that you rejected before that has finally separated from someone else as well, or they're getting away from their own family struggles as well. Yeah, we have the eight of wands. It's going to happen. Look, you got two cards showing me that the things are about to, I don't know, things are coming together very fast. So I get a lot of fast communication here, a lot of fast movement here. It looks like some kind of immediate action here. If I were to read this all as someone that is coming towards you, I would say someone's coming towards you that wants to invest. You could be dealing with a Leo here with the sun. Doesn't have to be. Okay, we also have some Virgo energy here as well. Um, I also see Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So there's obviously, if I went back through it, I'm sure every sign is on the board here. Don't take that too serious. Let's just... Um, look at the message here. But I could see that somebody is moving towards you here because they want to have some kind of, they want to have some kind of success with you. 
But honestly, I believe this is you. I think that you do have some kind of material offer that could be coming your way. Someone that wants to offer you something, maybe help you with something. I think you're going to feel very, very good about this. Somebody is feeling though more rejected, more isolated, I guess, from your energy here. And again, I do think this is somebody here who is going through some kind of separation or divorce of their own or just leaving some kind of broken, I don't know, family or something along those lines here. So, and this is honestly, this is somebody here. This could actually be an earth sign. So it could be Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus here that's reaching out. What I find so interesting about this is you have all this Knight's energy, okay, that's, that's trying to come in towards you. You're showing up as the Empress up here. All right, so this might definitely be somebody who is younger than you, but certainly somebody here that doesn't seem as mature as you, okay? They have some grown-ups to do. Maybe they're a kid or something. I don't even know. Or a younger child, you know? Something like that, okay? Let me pull out these and just see. Spirit, what else does Sash need to know about this? So you're on a good road. You're on a good path. I can see the Spirit is actually imploring you to stay on said path. Look at that nightmare. First card out. Oh, my goodness. On said path. That's why they're telling you to get your ducks in a row, okay? Because you're about to be pushed forward into something. It may be something you've been waiting on. Um, you may have been waiting to take a step as well to do something. I feel like, you know, the time has come. Okay, we have goal. Yeah, the time has come here. We have goal here. We have persuade. I'm telling you, look at this persuasion, saving something like that. Somebody is coming towards you. All right. I don't know if this is this is to push you. I think towards some goal that you have. They're going to be offering you some kind of money. Okay, some kind of pentacles as we saw over here wanting to invest in you in some way. I think it's going to be very tempting here. You can see right here, this person is just stacking money, right? Saving money, stacking money here. So somebody could definitely be coming in, um, offering you something here that's going to allow you to really, what well, looks to me like a lot of abundance here, all right? To save money, to be abundant, to have, to have things. Teaching. I don't know why I just heard teaching. Wow, look at that. So, <laughs> God forbid if we didn't have a reading with this, right? Meanwhile, you have someone. So, somebody has tried to slow down whatever this progress is. You got somebody over here definitely in a nightmare, okay? Somebody's really suffering. They're feeling very haunted about something that they could have done to you, okay? Could have been using some kind of magic here behind the scenes here, all right? To keep you from that. Okay, to keep you from your goals, to keep you from, and maybe to try and impact your money here, to impact your abundance, to impact this beautiful growth that you have coming uh, forward for you as well. Look at this. Yeah, you got somebody that's definitely going to be promising you something here. This is interesting because I'm wondering, because this is down here, if this is this Nine of Pentacles, okay? I don't know who this is or if this is even someone that you know at this particular time, this slow and steady person. But somebody, I think somebody's watching you that wants to help you or offer you something here that feels like they can add something to your life or, you know, I don't know. It seems to me like they're very optimistic about having something with you. They definitely want to invest in you in some way, but this person likes you. Look at this card. This person likes you. That's the problem. That's part of this problem. It's what I just heard. Interesting. Okay. So whoever's been trying to impact Whoever this is that's been trying to create maybe a lot of chaos in your life, stop you from moving forward, they know about this, okay? So not only are they trying to stop whatever abundance you have or whatever this path is, it looks like they're trying to stop some kind of, it looks to me like somebody, honestly, this, this person's on their knees, right? This is somebody who could definitely be proposing here. They know with this, so somebody could very well be coming in as the guy under the guise of being a business partner or investing in you in some way, but ultimately this person loves you. That's what I feel. Somebody knows that and somebody has tried to stop that. And the thing is, 
you're growing you're not going backwards you're you're moving forward here everything here literally signifies that okay you're very very protected and someone's been trying to stop this forward movement i think you got somebody coming into your life that already has feelings for you love for you that's what i got okay and um they want to invest in whatever they see you doing or whatever your plans are here very interesting here yeah look at this wow so I don't know if the person that was trying to stop this or slow this down or something like that is someone here who may feel rejected. So this could very well be a friend or maybe an ex here that maybe you've left behind. Yeah, look at that. I'm telling you right now, somebody, <laughs> this is also about mind reading. Okay, somebody here has been going to somebody, it looks like under this prediction card, right? going to somebody getting readings on you it looks like maybe trying to trying to get into your own mind here this person's really been studying you i think a lot this could also be the one up top here okay trying to figure out what you're doing next this i'm telling you somebody let me see who this person is here trying to who's the person that is in this nightmare over not being able to stop sag with this magic who is this look at the cards come on now who is the person okay king of wands energy so this could be a leo i think we saw that over here as well so this could have been a leo or somebody in this king of wands energy here so you could definitely have a leo that's been trying to stop you from moving forward here maybe towards an earth sign doesn't have to be but that's what we got here um towards some kind of earth sign I don't know if this is somebody that you worked for before or if this is somebody that you know that is just a very charismatic person, a leader in some sense, an entrepreneur, okay, a visionary. Somebody, though, doesn't want to see you move forward is what I'm getting. This person has really been getting readings on you. They must know what is actually happening with you. Unfortunately, they've used some kind of magic or other means here to try and keep you stuck. This is somebody you've left behind, Sag. That's what I'm getting. It doesn't have to be a Leo, but it's definitely somebody in that fire um, energy or with those traits that I just mentioned here. Let's see what else here. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is somebody who loves you. Well, why aren't they there if they love you? My goodness. Yeah, this is somebody that definitely has love for you. Okay, so you could have already been in a partnership with this person, or maybe they want that with you. I, I just think it's somebody that you had to leave behind for some reason. This person's been trying to predict what is happening with you or what's coming up with you is what it looks like to me. They've been getting readings, perhaps, trying to stay two steps ahead of you, but you continue to grow here. And I think it's because you're so focused on yourself, honestly. You're not really worried about all that stuff or what's coming up. You're really just kind of worried about yourself. So tell me about this new, who is this new Nine of Pentacles? Or who is this Nine of Pentacles coming in, Spirit? Okay, Seven of Cups, okay. a new opportunity for you wow this is a past life connection or someone here also that could be from the past year um someone that you'll feel a deep soul connection with this could be somebody who's searching for some kind of purpose too i don't know what you're doing up there but if you're engaging in some things like that maybe that has something to do with it i have an emperor here to your empress as well this is somebody who knows who they are okay they're also a leader very stable they could be a father as well divine masculine energy over here this could be a person that's been watching you as well thinking about you maybe dreaming of something with you look at this this is somebody who's also releasing some kind of pain from the past here and forgiving okay to move forward here this is somebody who's progressing okay and they're also sitting in quite a bit of self-love look at that wow 
Yeah, there could be some. Now, this could be a reunion. This could be somebody coming in just with some kind of friendship here, especially to begin with. Somebody that's already around you. We talked about the community. We talked about equal reciprocity. So you could start off with this person in that way as well. Yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, I kind of get that, to be honest with you. I do get that. Because I did feel like someone was going to come in kind of under the guise initially of being um, kind of in this friend-like mode, right? But I do think that this person may actually want much more. They see you as much more. Or maybe it just builds into much more here. Let me get a few of these messages. I like your energy, Sag. I like where you're going. And obviously, you're being acknowledged here, right? For everything that you have done to get to where you are. So kudos to you because I know that it's not easy work. And a lot of people never even take time to do that work. But it's so important, right? It's critical, actually. You want to grow and excel in this life. All right. Definitely. See? Spirit agrees. Definitely. <laughs> All right, Spirit. What do we need to know here? I'm absolutely in love with you. Somebody's in love with you. All right. Somebody's watching you. Somebody's in love with you. Somebody's been trying to keep you from moving forward also. We know this person is in love with you because they're trying to keep you from moving forward. My thing is if they're in love with you, which I mean, honestly, they may be moving on this. You might actually have to deal with this. Yeah. You've had some issues with this person before. And honestly, they have not handled things correctly. All right. I do like it that they're coming out in the upright. That does make me happy. However, um, I don't like the way that they've dealt with things at all, especially not seeing, you know, seeing magic over here. But this person's in quite a bit of stress about you moving forward quite a bit. Maybe they realized too late they were in love with you or after the fact, you know, I don't know. I feel like they feel like they need to express something and be up front and do it quickly, though. Yeah, I just dream and wish for everything. What does that mean? Okay. Was that part of the problem? I just, okay, the deck just fell open on they are waiting for you. Oh, wow. Look, did you hear me? I put that back in the deck and shuffled and it came out again. They're waiting for you. I wonder if that's been the issue. Did you break with someone here and just start focusing on yourself and never look back? That's what it looks like to me. And this person, instead of moving forward and trying to reclaim something, I, I don't know. So, you know, we're very strong people. So I don't know if maybe this person felt like you had the upper hand or like maybe they would give you time and they've just kind of sat back. But you never came back <laughs> because you've been focused on yourself. I, I heard getting it right. I don't know what that means. Maybe you're trying to get these things under control, get it right. So again, so that you don't maybe go through the same things as you have before with relationships, you know, albeit, you know, familial or romantic or just, you know, life experiences, period. Okay. So somebody feels like they've been waiting for you. And because They've been getting readings and know that you're moving forward towards all of this. They're feeling quite rejected and left behind here. And this person's in love with you. Because they've been getting readings, they obviously know someone else is coming in too. And that you're getting a lot of attention over here. And people, yeah, and you're giving your attention to a lot of people too. But it's not, it's not to them. I meant what I said. Okay, well, maybe there were some words exchanged or... Something that was said in the past. Hmm. I want to get you drunk. Okay, well that just took a left. <laughs> took a left turn. Oh, okay. Well, you've been really tight-lipped too is what I just heard. Okay, so maybe you've been very tight-lipped too about what you're doing, about your emotions, something like that when it comes to this person. Maybe you've never expressed a lot to them. That could also be why they want to get you drunk. They also want you to drop your walls, okay? Yeah, words do hurt. This came out, those cards came out in another reading. There's a bunch of cards here. All right, so... Words do hurt. Y'all could have very well exchanged some words or maybe something you said. 
No. I don't know what that means. You know what? Let me have you. Oh, that's interesting. Let me have you. But the first card was no. Who's saying no? <laughs> Maybe you said no to them. All right. So let me have you. So this is somebody who clearly wants you. Okay. Wants to be with you. Feels like they're absolutely in love with you. Maybe doing some really ridiculous things here. Okay, maybe you know that they did this too. That could be part of the problem here with unlock your mind here. Okay, you could already know that they've been doing these things behind the scenes here. That could also have them really in their head as well. It's definitely a desperate act. And I don't know why it, it came out that way unless you just completely shut this person up and or up. Yeah, maybe up and off in some way. I miss you. Do you? So do you miss me? Yep. So this is definitely, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is somebody who's obviously taken some time, but they've also felt like they need it. Whatever happened, maybe they felt like, well, if I just give Sag some time, things will turn back around. But it definitely looks to me like you started throwing all of your time, your energy into you. All right. And because of that, you are about to really see, you may already be seeing a lot of the fruits of your labors. Okay. I think you have someone here that, who's actually acted quite recklessly from a place of ego in desperation is what I'm going to say. They've kept a very close eye on you and they don't like what they're seeing. I mean, I've got to be honest with you. They don't like what they're seeing, but it's making them really want you, yearn for you so much more here. But I want to tell you, you have somebody else that's coming in for you as well here. If your person was in another relationship, it looks like they've left that some kind of family connection situation, maybe a marriage. I'm not really sure here, but they've left something like that as well. Somebody may be coming in, though, that's going to turn into something that's so much more here with that proposal card. All right. Let me get just some last words of advice here and we'll wrap it up for you guys sag here what do you have for sag please last words final words here give a relationship a chance it says work on your partnership okay that might be for some of you guys that choose to address this this person is coming in very fast here to address okay that's what i feel attraction though yeah you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully this is what's happening here you have a lot of people that have their eyes on you or a lot of attention on you right now um and you may be giving your energy as well it, it doesn't have to be romantically but you could be doing things right that that give your attention to other people people are finding you attractive though and that is what's bringing in new new people in your life Oh my gosh, come on, these cards are stuck. Yeah, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring here. So you may already have feelings for someone. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. I don't know what you were in before. You may be taking a whole different path here. i got to be honest with you, Saj. It's going to be so much better for you. It's almost like coming... Um, out of a darker period, I want to say, and, and whatever you're doing, because it does look like it could be more spiritually led. Um, it just looks to me like it's going to be so much better for you. Okay. And it might be bringing kind of in your, you know, a bit more from your, I'm just going to say your soul circle in a sense, people that are more in alignment with you. And as a result, you're going to end up with your soulmate here. That's what I get. Flirt is on the bottom. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. You're a Sag. I already know that you're going to do that. So I'm not worried about that. Okay. That is what I have for you guys. Hopefully it will resonate with some of you. I will see you guys very soon. Have a good night.